So, Michael, tell me a little bit about your work, which is extremely unique. Well, thank you very much. Uh, the work I do is dedicated to photography and filmmaking. And what I do basically is create art through film work, without computers, without special effects editing of any kind whatsoever, really as a dedication to the purity of the art form of photography. So you take the, the, the photography and you merge it with other media. Exactly. Like, for instance, this sculpture you see here is some of the latest things that I'm doing, bronze sculptures. And for many years I had done functional art tables, I had done oil paintings, and many different arenas of art, all coming under the umbrella of large format 8x10 film, which I record with this 8x10 view camera. So my finished piece of art these days is the 8x10 chrome, right. which is a piece of film, 8x10 inches. I'm able to blow that up to giant sizes and keep the resolution. And it's really a wonderful thing for collectors because from the limited edition, or excuse me, from the chromes, I'm offering limited edition prints. My real goal is to use art to inspire people. And what I'm trying to do is for charities and for people in need, give hits of money from the sale of each and every piece of artwork that I do. My most recent project, and the thing that's most important to me right now, is the sale of my art film, Chasing Originality. Chasing Originality is a piece I did that comprises 22,000 individual frames of film in the same basic format capture as large format 8x10 is. Only now what I do is go to each individual frame of movie film one at a time. After 24 frames, I only have one second of playback. So it's really time consuming. The film took 10 months, really more than a year after the editing and everything was completed. And it's, you know, basically a labor of love. It really was something that I care about so much to send a message out to the public that there's art that doesn't have to repeat and copy, you know, artists before me. Yeah, so it's very it, unique. Oh, thank you very much. The chromes that I do, I'll show you a few of them here if we can get them on the cam. This is an 8x10 piece of film. What we're looking at is a model sitting for me that I took a picture of on this same sheet of film, but I had already layered my oil painting so that, again, it's a combination of the different arenas of art that I do. It's called Colavito Modern Image Painting. It has an official title. And all of the art I'm doing is about the purity of film within the boundaries of Colavito modern image painting. And again, without special effects, editing, or computers of any kind whatsoever. Do you anticipate others might emulate you? And if they do, would that upset you? Or would you feel flattered by it's that? It's always flattering when an artist is copied. I have been around for so long doing this. It's been a quarter of a century that it's taken me to really develop and you know, produce this body of work. So anyone that tries to overlap what I'm doing is essentially kind of rewarding me and my style, you know, with a check in the right column of originality. And the passing it on. Exactly. So tell me about the Global Initiative, because I find that really interesting, how you're using art to try to bring people around the world together. Sure, thank you. Earth Project is something that I've been doing for the full 25 years that I've been creating this art. And what it is, is 50 to 60 countries of varying ethnicities all submerged and montaged the same way that you see that I showed you in these chromes. And the message is about uniting people. I mean, my art is designed for people to inspire people to get a reaction. All of the great artists that I've been working with recently, I've been very fortunate to get the eye of Robert De Niro and Chuck Close and Jeff Koons, and so many people are coming around to recognizing that the work is very original and has inspiration and a degree of, you know, real flavor to it that, again, doesn't overlap anyone before me. So I'm trying to not just capture the imagination and the minds of the viewers, but then also to use the art, again, to sell for, you know, money for charities and, you know, with a purpose to benefit people. I recently completed a film, 
as I mentioned a little earlier, called Chasing Originality. We are trying right now myself, Joey Reynolds is helping a bit, Barry Z is helping. We're calling it the Colavito Z Project. And what it's designed for is to actually sell the film for between two and four million dollars, half of which is going directly to a multitude of charities. So I'm very, very happy to be part of something, you know, that's really about, again, generating that kind of capital that will really mean something. The film that I described, Chasing Originality, you can see a little piece of the film right here, just the title page. And in fact, maybe I'll run this so that we can get a little bit of an idea of exactly what the film is. Let me see if I can get this machine going. But Chasing Originality is ultimately a part of the Colavito Earth Project because, you know, it's just another way to use art for charity and to have something, you know, that's different from what other filmmakers have done in the past. When I showed this piece to Robert De Niro, he liked it very much and allowed me to create a short film of Mr. De Niro in the same exact likeness of the film Chasing Originality. So what I'm trying to do is really separate the films and market them one by one so that I have a little bit of ammunition for the public and you know, so that it can continue and that Earth, Earth Project is, is ongoing. It's going to, you know, consume the next ten years of my life, I'm sure. Let me cut the volume down a little so it doesn't interfere. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you. The film essentially is about the protagonist who is in search of new art. That's why it's called Chasing Originality. And plus the fact your artwork is very original, obviously. Oh, thank you very so much. So it's just, you know, hand in glove. So before we uh, sign off, I'm sure a lot of the people who are viewing this are going to want to hit your webpage. So we would be remiss if we didn't give you an opportunity to give a shout out on the uh, on what that webpage is. The uh, webpage is my name, michaelcolavito.com. And Colavito is C O L A V I T O. It gives a really good, you know, sampling of the different arenas of art on the webpage. You have a section called uh, Color and Shape another section called uh, Painting with Light. You have a little sample of the movie film. You even have me on the Montel Williams show live introducing some of this art with a big print, this one actually up here in the corner, of a saxophone playing notes that was given to uh, President Bill Clinton a number of years ago. The art has reached many of the great minds in society, and the more leverage or the more of the platform that you know, continues to grow and build the better, again, for this art's purpose really being met, which is to, you know, show itself and be sold with revenues for charity.